Okay guys, this is a little in-between tip before our mesh clashes. Clashes. <laughs> our mesh class. God, it's such a tongue twister. Um, so in the video before this, we used this Shantae model. And we were able to create um, a mesh avatar from it. Originally, Shantae was in uh, a pose. And we changed the bones and made her into t-pose so i realized that when i finished that tutorial i didn't tell you what to do in case your avatar does not have bones and they're stuck in this a pose so this is what we are going to do we are going to click on the body and we're going to export this while she is still down in that a pose so i'm going to export object and uh, desktop so make sure selection only is there and uh, untitled three I'm going to import her back in while she's down in A. So let's go on to the bottom layer and we're going to import file OBJ 3. Bring her in. Alright, so here she is in all her giant splendor and she has no bones and she's stuck in A pose. So let's go uh, scale her down to where she's supposed to be. So here, and then scale on down. One more time. Alright, kidok. So what we are going to do is go to a new layer, bring in our avatar. Quads, triangles, don't matter. Either one. And like before, we're going to scale, oops, deselect everything and select only the Avastar loops. We're going to scale it down so that it matches as close as possible. Getting a good sync is really important when they're out of the A uh, out of the T pose. So we're going to scale her down to about here. And we're going to take the arms and we're going to go into pose mode and we're just going to just move it so that she lines up so as you can already tell her arms are already too long so I'm just gonna put this here I like to do the free rotating when it comes to stuff like that like double one to just slide it into place it makes it so much easier um, so while her arms are down like that we're going to go back to the object panel this little cube here and I'm going to go to body and then torso and I'm going to change her arm lift and we're going to shrink her up a little bit but right there and to mirror the pose over there on this side we're going to press A and deselect everything then we're going to press C and then just select all the bones up here in the shoulder too and then pose and copy pose and then paste X mirror flipped and then flip. there we go and then we're going to do the same thing for her legs. Remember those being out of position. And like I said before, if you find that you're having a hard time rotating, you're just going to press A. And sometimes it's not open. You're going to tell you just press N and it opens up this toolbar. And you're going to check the box that says this all bones. And you're just going to press disable rotation limits. Like that. So now the bones should move a little freely kind of bent her legs are alright so I may make her feet a little bit bigger so legs, foot size, ginormous, <laughs> just to get a good sink. So like before, we're going to press C and select all the bones, go on up her leg and her foot, pose, copy pose, piece X, go here, and I think we need to change her torso as well. So torso, torso length and Pull it all up in there. Alright. Um, so I think that should about do it. 
So once we have everything selected, we're going to go back into object mode. We're going to select the avatar, select the bones, uh, go to avatar, don't attach the sliders, and we're going to alter to rest pose and then hit bind to armature. And hope for the best. <gasps> Hopefully it should work. It's that dang hair. Forgot to deselect it again. That's what's slowing everything up. So when we go to the loops and go on the pose, we press A, press R, and yeah, look at that. She's now in a pretty good T pose. So we can delete the avatar meshes we don't need you here and it's not messing up the arms so we did a really good job with it this time around so that's how you would go about um, getting your avatar into the T pose um, when they have no bones to straighten out into our T pose so that's how you do that with the altar to rest um, then you just follow along with the rest of the tutorial when it comes to rigging and then testing and doing all that fun jazz and we can have a little bit of fun when it comes to making this avatar all right so i guess i'll see you in the next video that was a quick tip from me zero and i'll see you in the next video bye